hi guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to talk about uh, uh, some example application using uh, mvc uh, mvc pattern and also object oriented uh, programming without any framework uh, i will complete this assignment uh, as you can see within the uh, screen uh, here we have a login form this is actually a login and registration uh, example this is a sample application uh, with mvc plus uh, object oriented programming without any uh, framework okay let's see you can uh, uh, now you can see the login form uh, here we have a registration form and you can register as uh, like this, let's say a test user. Test user. Uh, I'll add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's uh, submit. It will go to the dashboard. As you can see, that uh, uh, there is a dashboard as well. That means a user login form, a registration form, and dashboard. Uh, once uh, you you'll, once user log out. It will redirect to login form again. User can register. You can user can log in. User have a dashboard. This is the application example application. Let's jump into the code and do this example. Okay. Uh, first, I need to um, open. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, I will create a new. Uh, I, I will use this uh, VS Code. Here um, I will create uh, my folder structure first. I need a folder call. Uh, we have to. We need to have a folder structure. That means model view controller. Let's. I will add first a controller. Let's controller. And uh, then I will add the model. Oops. Not within this folder. So okay. Model view. Uh, model view controller. Sorry, these are uh, is too uh, simple. Model. Rename to view. Okay, um, let's add uh, first. Uh, first, let's uh, create our. Um, uh, as as you can see here, that within the uh, when we uh, when you think about the uh, framework, we have uh, uh, application or index file, and also we have uh, kernel. Likewise, there is some file structure. I am not expecting to create those things, but here I will uh, show you some uh, um, example that uh, without uh, framework, how to do uh, use, how to use uh, object-oriented uh, uh, programming and MVC uh, uh, MVC uh, architecture. Here I will create uh, uh, first. I will create the config uh, uh, PHP file because we need to uh, we need to have uh, file to uh, put our configuration like a env file let's set the config file config config.php in here um, i will add uh, php uh, return dollar config equal to array Let's say uh, server equal to uh, localhost and db name equal to uh, let's say uh, example zero one zero one example uh, zero one and uh, db Pass equal to uh, db pass equal to um, because I don't have password, I, I will keep it as empty and uh, db user uh, db uh, name db user we need a user 
db user equal to root these are the our configuration let's uh, create uh, let's create our uh, kernel file i will uh, name this as a kernel uh, because uh, it's just a name uh, let's uh, before that i will add the connection uh, connection file connection class here uh, we need to add connection connection dot php because uh, this configuration information used with the connection uh, class let's add the connection php uh, class connection connection okay connection okay and uh, here i will add uh, uh, private uh, private it's public static dollar connection okay equal to false let's create the private constructor because um, as you know uh, here we only use a singleton um, uh, method with the database connection then we create singleton uh, private sorry private function construct we we'll let the blank construct private constructor and also a public uh, a public static function call uh, connect dollar uh, config we have the config config right here we need to add uh, try catch if not self dollar connect then we need to have uh, we have to have create the connection uh, here uh, we will uh, create the connection okay uh, uh, let's say uh, dollar con equal to new uh, pdo okay and uh, here we need to add uh, mysql uh, host equal to our configuration information dollar config uh, server uh, server and uh, and this is uh, and we need to, sorry uh, server db name db name equal to dollar config uh, db name db name okay and uh, and also uh, db name in then it, uh, then after that we need uh, user dollar config Uh, db user and also we need dollar config uh, db pass those are the parameters needs needs for need uh, for okay and uh, now we have a video let's uh, add the attributes dollar con set attribute let's add first uh, pdo it uh, uh, error mode let's say error mode as uh, pdo error, error mode exception okay and let's add uh, another uh, fetch set attribute let's say uh, pdo it uh, default uh, fetch mode default uh, fetch mode let's equal to fetch a sock let's say uh, pdo uh, if it is 
okay uh, now we have a video configure let's do let's um, uh, dollar self connection equal to dollar con now we have a connection we'll return it uh, return dollar self dollar connection okay now we have um, uh, created our okay we, we need to try catch here catch block uh, let's say um, pdo exception pdo exception and uh, dollar e let's uh, record the message dollar e get message and uh, exit let's exit that okay now we have our connection class uh, as you know it will uh, only uh, singleton uh, way that means we use that's why we use uh, this constructor private constructor and also static method because statically we, we access this statically okay let's uh, create uh, now we create uh, our uh, kernel kernel class kernel uh, for page let's say uh, kernel.php okay within this kernel php i'm going to implement uh, uh, all the configuration between uh, php we call configuration we include this uh, include once uh, these configurations let's say our config file is uh, config.php and um, include uh, once uh, let's say what is the other one connection connection.php okay now we have included our uh, connections we are uh, using uh, spl uh, auto register command i will uh, i will uh, uh, load the classes spl auto load uh, auto load register register let's set the callback function function uh, dollar class okay and here I need to give uh, if file uh, exist file location let's say uh, controller controller slash uh, we need to give the dynamic file because uh, it load it can be have uh, different different files let's say dot uh, dot php okay now we need to have this okay, then other uh, we have to sorry we have to in, include these files Rick, uh, okay when we uh, try to create a uh, object it will automatically uh, include the class files using this uh, SPL auto register uh, function. Let's do do other files as that mean uh, within the model also we have files. We can include those files using the same way. Model and model. Okay. Now we uh, included the files. Let's uh, do. Uh, let's. Uh, now let's uh, create the db uh, connection here dollar db equal to connection uh, we can statically call our connect uh, function in config now our config included then we have access to config variable let's say uh, load new let's uh, create our um, home uh, first add the method i guess let's see, see. go to the uh, controller we can we create file uh, file we'll create the file called um, home controller home controller actually oh, sorry. Uh, actually uh, here this these are the controllers that mean according to mvc uh, we need a controller model uh, we use here i'm going to create the our first controller this is our controller class and uh, within this controller we have method actually those methods we call like as actions uh, let's create um, controller uh, first action uh, uh, first method uh, let's create 
php uh, let's say uh, public function um, let's say uh, index action index action within the index action we we uh, within the index action uh, here now uh, problem public function uh, okay first we have to create the class uh, class uh, call uh, home controller side of this class we will create the first uh, okay now we have uh, now we have a function called uh, index action uh, let's uh, let's uh, yeah, within the index section uh, we need to here I, I, I'm using uh, I have to create the member uh, property dollar public uh, dollar model because uh, we need to have this model information within the control otherwise we can't uh, refer the model uh, methods to refer the model methods using the controller class we need to have uh, a model object then uh, in here uh, I'm pass I'm uh, I'm expecting to set this model object within the uh, kernel but uh, here the thing is we can uh, inject this to uh, using the uh, constructor but I am not going to do uh, that much of uh, complicated uh, that mean I'm trying to uh, keep this as a simple because to understand easily to new people anyway uh, yeah now I have a model uh, property and also index action uh, for now I just uh, uh, and I need another function because I'm, I'm uh, hoping to handle this routing using the different uh, method let's say let's say that one as well let's say a uh, function uh, call uh, uh, let's say a route route manager or something manager okay let's uh, here we don't need any parameters uh, I'm, I'm here uh, I could uh, if uh, if uh, let's say uh, Not, we don't need if let's return uh, return um, uh, return uh, requirements uh, returns okay, uh, views in the our view folder uh, we we'll, I'll return uh, login login dot php Okay, now uh, I need to add this to view oh, new file. Okay, login.php. Now I'll add the HTML as well. Right. Uh, now, uh, controller, now we need to call this here. Do this. Uh, route route manager okay, now it's go uh, uh, automatically return to when it's called index section it will automatically return to uh, login uh, page uh, first we need to add the uh, login uh, view to create the login view uh, I, will, I will use uh, uh, bootstrap uh, uh, let's do that uh, okay I will add uh, Okay, I will uh, copy this uh, bootstrap. Uh, let's go to bootstrap. Bootstrap uh, CDN. Yeah, we need this CSS part. Uh, sorry, this CSS part. And uh, let's go to example. Here we need to add this. Uh, okay uh, now uh, now we need to create the form I will create the form now uh, uh, okay, I will add the form let's say new ID equal to login and also uh, I need to add h3 tag let's say delete class all uh, 
text C E N T center T I will add the because uh, this uh, need some styles using RMSD bootstrap styles then uh, we need to have these classes white pt5 okay and uh, uh, let's see this okay now uh, I have login form right now I need to add uh, another div with id uh, uh, let's say uh, login row first we need to add the container class equal to container the container that in the container I will add this uh, new call ID is login row and class is row uh, sorry class is uh, this is a row class and uh, justify justify equal to content content equal to center uh, we justify the content uh, to center and align align uh, sorry align items actually these are bootstrap uh, inbuilt uh, CSS classes you can uh, learn how to use these in inbuilt CSS uh, if you if you learning uh, bootstrap you can uh, learn these things okay uh, let's uh, I'm not going to cover those things because those are different uh, topic uh, okay let's do the next day uh, say we now we need a column I will keep, keep the I will create the column let's set the ID do ID ID say uh, login column and class class equal to class equal to call MD6 we uh, we uh, only get the 6 with I mean we're not going to get okay 12 uh, with let, let's stick with the 6 that means half of the screen centered and uh, uh, half of the screen uh, let's add uh, new ID call uh, uh, login form okay, within this day we need to have class we, full, we use full with uh, within this uh, dev call equal to middle middle uh, screen uh, let's say okay form now we need to add form our form form id equal to uh, say let this is uh, i think need to add here so let this one is box login form um, let's say class equal to form form and uh, action action equal to uh, we don't need to mention action and method that equal to post okay our form is created let's add the fields into the form let's add uh, let's add uh, uh, H3 with the uh, class call uh, class call txt uh, center txt info okay and uh, it is login login uh, so close the H3 now uh, I do class call uh, dev class call uh, let's add the from group 
form group uh, within the form group we need to give the label label uh, let's say for for label let's set the use uh, name so name and uh, let's set the class call uh, txt info and that is let's say username so a name okay label is closed and we need to have br here let's say br okay and that is our first form group let's copy this okay uh, okay we have to add the input input as well uh, input type text. okay uh, text and uh, name equal to name equal to username and uh, name and uh, let's add id as well id is username okay now we have uh, we need to add class class in that uh, form control form control okay these are the uh, inputs and we need to add the other inputs as well that mean uh, password let's add that here we can copy this uh, block again we can change this to password and uh, let's say password uh, password and the username is password id is password okay that is that uh, let's this type also password mm, okay uh, uh, let's say uh, we can add uh, okay here we need to add another uh, Dev, dev, and uh, let's say class equal to uh, form group. Uh, let's say add that here. Yeah, let's add the label call uh, uh, label. Uh, no need to add input. Let's add input directly. No need anything. Let's add input type uh, type equal to submit and name equal to let's add name as well uh, login uh, submit okay and class sorry class equal to uh, btn uh, btn uh, info and btn md okay uh, value equal to submit okay we now created our um, class and also we need to add a register link as well here we add register link do uh, id uh, let's uh, add the rg uh, link Okay, and ID is that, and sorry. Okay, and uh, let's set the class saying that T E X T text right. We need to align this to right, and uh, let's set the uh, a, a tag uh, ref uh, sorry uh, equal to uh, just uh, equal to to uh, true let's add the class uh, saying txt uh, info sorry t e x t info let's sing register here okay and now we have our form okay now we have our form uh, let's uh, create uh, others as well um, 
okay uh, let's go to uh, let's go to now we have uh, what kernel didn't say no. okay let's uh, create uh, let's create now we have our controller within controller we pass to login and um, uh, yeah uh, now once uh, user submit the form uh, once you submit the form we need to capture that those information let's try add add those to here that mean here we can add like this if we set uh, dollar uh, post uh, let's say uh, log uh, login uh, login uh, submit login submit if user submit the form then we uh, user user name equal to uh, dollar so uh, post uh, user user name and uh, dollar password equal to dollar post uh, password okay here we collect the username and password and we can uh, check user login now let's check that as well uh, let's go to uh, let's go to uh, create our model uh, let's create our model i have to create the model uh, yeah let's create the model and uh, we can add model call home model dot php here we can add the php class call home model okay within here within that we need to have a, a public dollar db our database uh, property and also um, we can uh, we need to have a public function call uh, uh, let's say um, to, to check user login we need to check I, I will add the function called uh, check user login check user login here we need to have username and dollar password okay uh, let's add uh, just now we add the uh, function uh, we for later we will implement the code here now within now we have a model yeah, within the controller controller we need to call that uh, that function let's call it as a uh, check uh, check user login okay equal to dollar this uh, model that mean we refer the our model and its function is uh, what is the function uh, this one the function and we need to pass dollar username and dollar password okay uh, right now uh, we need to implement the code here let's say uh, let's say um, okay let's implement that as well here yeah, uh, dollar so yeah dollar query equal to we have we need to create in select uh, select query select uh, let's uh, all from rtbl user where uh, user name equal to uh, dollar user name okay and uh, okay, here we need to give the uh, right and uh, also uh, we need to use and and uh, let's say password equal to dollar password let's say right now uh, password uh, that's it query is ready now we need to access this using the uh, pdostmt equal to uh, dollar this db 
prepare prepare uh, prepare let's say again I can prepare okay and uh, prepare with the dollar query and execute execute okay right now we need to return dollar uh, stmt okay now we have uh, now we created our uh, uh, let's yeah now uh, now we created our uh, login uh, login uh, process let's check that as well let's first uh, i think uh, home controller we need to here we need to check the is uh, if that user login success uh, what we need to do let's create that as well uh, let's here we return uh, okay uh, turn all let's create uh, if dollar check user login equal to one then dollar underscore session let's set session variable called user log in equal to one now we have new uh, here we need to start the session uh, you if you need to use session we have to start it let's start uh, session start okay now we have started our sessions now we uh, now we do now we need to have uh, some in some routing uh, control because if the user is logged in we don't need to show the our registration or uh, login form we need to navigate them into um, dashboard let's say if is set dollar session uh, session uh, user login reset then we return require once uh, views slash uh, dashboard dashboard DS dashboard okay dashboard php php Okay, now uh, we need to create uh, this view as well. Let's create, let's add that view a new file. Let's add .php. Uh, here we can add HTML. And also I will add uh, some uh, nav, nav bar. Nav database. Okay, here uh, I'll create uh, logout as well. I will create logout as well. Uh, log out okay here let's say uh, uh, log out equal to true okay now uh, we can say here uh, adding h1 tag this is user uh, dash dashboard Okay, now uh, we can add contain as well. Dot uh, contain container. Uh, inside, I will put this thing to inside of the container. Okay, now uh, the dashboard is also correct. Now we have our routing and uh, yeah, username, password. Once you say enter the username, password, it will. Uh, check with the database um, yeah first we need to add the database i guess let's go to the database let's go to the database i will add the uh, go to database yeah i have uh, i'll create new database for this uh, let's go to the databases uh, i'll create new database for this example example uh, zero one user login this is my database uh, i will add it to 
here config file our config file we can change the database okay now uh, I will add uh, table a user table with three columns um, first one is ID it is uh, primary key or pro increment primary key uh, okay and uh, username it is actually watcher sorry watcher 255 and password yeah password uh, is also watcher 255 uh, let's create now our table also created uh, database also created let's run uh, let's run, try to run application here I will uh, start the server php uh, s localhost 8001 ok now our uh, server also started let's uh, Okay, let's uh, run this. Uh, oops, what happened? Eight thousand. Oops, I think we didn't create our index file. Yeah, we have to create our index file. Let's create index. Index. What PHP? Yeah. Here we uh, include our kernel. Include once kernel dot php. Okay, and uh, now let's go to browser and yeah, it's returning error. Fail no such uh, get get add. A network address failure. Let's check the PDO connection. Here our config we use local well, it's wrong local host. Strong uh, let's try with now it is accessing database. Now uh, connection is okay. Let's go to our kernel. It's uh, looking okay. We need to add uh, here we need to add uh, our controller that means uh, we currently need to call the controller here I will add the controllers uh, let's create a load uh, new equal to new home uh, controller and also dollar model model equal to new home model um, and the dollar load new we need to uh, access the model uh, within the uh, our uh, uh, more within the our um, controller class because we need to set the model dollar model we now we set the model that means uh, within this controller we have a model property to set that property uh, we, here we doing what we doing is we set the uh, that property this uh, the, we equal to this model okay now uh, we need to set the uh, db as well model within the model we have a pro uh, property called db we need to set that to db now uh, we can call the uh, index index equal to dollar load new uh, let's say uh, index action okay now we have Let's check the browser. Yeah, it's returning error. Session start cannot start session when the uh, is already sent or oh, header is already sent. That means we can't uh, start sessions uh, once uh, we need to start the sessions uh, beginning of the uh, page. Uh, let's go to the uh, control. Here we I think we need to add here. Let's try with that. No, uh, okay, uh, we return. Let's uh, okay, let's check with that session start.
I think we need to add this session and start not here. We need to add this to kernel. Yeah, we need to add here. Let's try with that. Now that one is gone, let require one login.php fail to open. I think the views, let's check. We didn't create login. Uh, we have login. One is we have. Then why it's not coming? Let's check. Yeah, views. Okay, view, views. Views. Mm, what happened? Views, yes. Okay, views, views, views. Okay, let's check. Okay, now we have our login form. Uh, now we have our login form. Let's let's add something uh, to this end. Okay. Uh, okay. I think here we have a problem with this with this model. Here uh, our controller check this equal to one. The problem is here we return not the count here we can return uh, count count okay, database record count and let's print this then you can understand this okay uh, let's print print r let's print sorry okay exit let's okay um Let's uh, try this. Uh, try oh, uh, so let's try this. Uh, login. Login equal to true. Go to the dashboard. Why? Let's go to controller. login okay I think uh, I login uh, login yes. user login status or something change to this now let's check now it's going to uh, log, login login uh, login page uh, okay, now uh, now uh, we don't need this one. We here we have a problem. Let's check with that uh, once we create the uh, register form because otherwise we can't check without uh, users. We need to have users in the database and also here we need to with the controller here we need to pass this as MD5. Let's pass this as MD5 because we we going to keep the password encrypted. Uh, and also uh, now we create now we will create the uh, registration form. Uh, let's create the registration form. Uh, to create the registration form, we need to create uh, first we need to create view. Let's create uh, register.php. Okay, uh, here, um, here also I'll add, uh, and uh, we need to add uh, uh, bootstrap copy and put that here, and also within the dashboard, we need to add that thing again. Here also, dashboard file and register file we added, login also we added. Okay, now uh, what I'm doing is I will cop uh, copy and paste this login form information because otherwise I, I will have to type again. Uh, here we need to change uh, these things. Let's say register. Here also register. Register. And uh, here we need to change as a register. Uh, okay. Username, password, uh, register here. We say login here. 
yeah let's pass as a login through okay now uh, we need to pass register submit okay let's go to controller and add uh, register uh, if register is uh, set what we need to do okay let's uh, create a register submit uh, here we can add if is set dollar uh, post register uh, register uh, submit uh, then uh, we need to collect uh, user name equal to dollar uh, dollar post user name and dollar password equal to dollar post uh, pass Word. okay now we already collected the information now we need to call the uh, user which equal to uh, this uh, model let's say uh, you uh, user register pass username and password MD with the MD5 uh, password okay uh, here it will return just um, I will we will set this as a dollar session set uh, set this same thing here because uh, if user register without an issue is is uh, considered as a logged user uh, let's create this method uh, this method uh, within the model uh, model public function dollar username dollar dollar password okay now we need the insert query uh, yeah I will create insert query dollar query equal to insert insert into columns uh, username password okay uh, values values equal to dot uh, let's say dollar username username and dot dollar pass word oh yeah now we need to Now, uh, now uh, our insert query is ready. Let's uh, create stmt equal to dollar this db query dollar query. Um, just return uh, one. Okay, uh, what is the problem? Public function. Function is missing. Public function. Yeah, no, not missing. It's okay. Uh, now our register form was register uh, is also created. Mm, and now uh, let's go to the controller. Here we here also we don't need these variables. Okay, and uh, now, uh, now within this routing class, uh, we need to add some more uh, options. If, if uh, let's say same thing, let's copy again. 
if uh, get dollar get dollar underscore get uh, user uh, let's say uh, register sets then we need to navigate to register that means uh, if you user click the register link then we need to navigate to register if you user click uh, logged in logged in uh, login then uh, we need to uh, navigate otherwise uh, to uh, login page uh, we need to once you click the login uh, link we need to navigate to login page and if you click log out if you click log out uh, is set dollar get uh, log out then also we need to uh, navigate to login page now uh, now we uh, done registration and uh, uh, login and we need log out as well here we will put start of the record if is set uh, let's say dollar get uh, log out then uh, unset we need to unset our session variable dollar session uh, session variable status need to log out we need to set the uh, unset now that's okay now we have uh, log out and uh, login and uh, register first we register and we need to uh, uh, check this login uh, function let's go to let's go let's refresh this and go to register okay register let's add the test uh, user one at the password one two three four five six seven eight submit get error what is it uncaption video uh, syntax error access violation okay our insert query has some error let's check with that okay insert into insert into okay where is the table name tbl user user let's try it try that again let's continue yeah user registered mm. now our user is registered and if we if we try to navigate this we can uh, navigate if we click, click uh, login then it's redirect to here uh, let's say register register yeah it's also coming to here if we log out it's go to login page again uh, we can login ah uh, here we need to check okay now within the login uh, it will return one then uh, that means our code is correct here uh, let's our code is correct that means it will return one means uh, here uh, within the uh, home controller it check user login is one then it's set the session variable that means that's also correct okay now check again uh, let's say uh, let's go to login Okay, and let's log in yeah now we logged in and let's logged out we logged out let's go to register uh, register users to logged in uh, logged out uh, logged in yeah likewise uh, this is the uh, example that mean we use in here we use um, MVC uh, pattern, MVC uh, MVC uh, application development pattern, and uh, also object-oriented uh, way. This application uh, not use any framework. Uh, we created uh, our own way, but with the MVC, we follow the MVC and uh, we created the application using the object-oriented uh, way. Uh, yeah just this is just an example uh, you can uh, add more uh, option to option to this uh, example and uh, you can change here that uh, this kernel thing that mean it will only actually hard coded this uh, controllers but you can uh, according to the request you can uh, uh, 
pick uh, a particular uh, controller that means like a router routing uh, we can uh, develop some routing class with this here uh, if you want likewise uh, you can improve this code and uh, i think uh, I, here i'm expecting to give you some basic example how to uh, code with the mvc uh, plus object oriented without um, framework I think I have done with the application development. Uh, I think you guys understood what I uh, demo to you. Here I wanted to uh, share with you uh, how to create application uh, without a framework but using MVC and object oriented. Uh, here I think this example is uh, explained to you how to create those things. If this video helped you, please give thumbs up. If you want to see future videos like this, please hit the subscription button. And thank you very much for watching my videos and let's meet with the next video. Thank you very much.